Welcome to this question, which one of my students around the world has asked me to help him or her with. Um, but before I start, I have to, and I want to give credits to Cambridge Examinations, because this is, this is their question, uh, not mine. I did not create this. We are just here together to solve the question and to help each other uh, to understand the maths. Let's get started. What is going on? It says the diagram shows water in a channel. This channel has a rectangular cross-section of 1.2 meters by 0.8 meters. So 0.8 by 1.2, yeah, so that indeed is a rectangle. And then there, are, there is some water inside now. Uh, let me highlight that with some blue, indeed, that's the water. And I can't see the rest of the water because it's black to, let's say, the side face of that channel. Okay, and already when I see the word cross-section, I start thinking about this question must be about prisms, yeah? Uh, so make sure you have seen my previous videos about prisms and how to find their volume, yeah? Cross section. Then we are talking about prisms usually. Let's find out, what are they asking me? When the depth of the water is 0 0.3 meters, and that is the case now, as you can see, 0 0.3 by 1.2, the water flows along the canal or channel at three meters per minute. And that is in bold. So you should be shouting to yourself, three meters, per minute. Okay, that must be important. Calculate the number of cubic meters which flow along the canal in one hour. Okay, so this is per minute and then they're asking me, so how much water will leave it in an hour? So that's 60 times whatever the amount of water leaves per minute. Okay, now what is going on? So obviously the water is going out here. Yeah, at the end of the, of the, of the uh, channel or canal. And uh, how much water is going out? Well, basically three meters per minute. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you like, if I would make it a little bit longer, the water, yeah, if that would be three meters, yeah, then all of that, all of this water here, the three meters being, if you like, pushed out of the channel, okay? It's being pushed out that direction. All right, that is per minute. So I'm gonna find out now, what is the volume of the water that is being pushed out, that is leaving the channel every minute? And indeed, then I gotta find the volume of that, yeah, if you like, it's a cuboid, eh? it, is, um, it is a cuboid, it is a prism uh, with a rectangular cross-sectional uh, area. So I'm gonna find the area of its cross-section, I'm gonna times that by the height. All right, so there we go, I'll do that in black. So it is 1.2 times 0 0.3 times 3 and that is um, if you put that in your calculator 1.08 meter cubed yeah because all the units are in meters okay but that is the amount of water that leaves per minute because that is three minute uh, three meters is leaving that channel per minute but they're asking me how much is it going to be per hour per one hour well if the rate stays the same and we assume it does then if this is the water leaving the channel per minute then hopefully you agree with me i have to multiply whatever is leaving it per minute by 60 and then i'll get 64.8 meters cubed which is the water leaving it per hour all right Okay, hopefully you understand that. Let's move on to the next question. When the depth of the water in the channel increases to 0 0.8 meters, the water flows at 15 meters per minute, okay? So if we increase the amount of water, so this is the new situation, it's, it's full, if you like, all the way, then per minute, it's not three meters, but 15 meters, which is leaving the channel per minute. The question is, calculate the percentage increase in the number of cubic meters which flows along the channel in one hour. And that's for four points, so some work is going to be involved. Okay, percentage increase, you should tell yourself, 
Okay, that is the change in value over the original value times 100%. So that is a formula that you have learned. So the change in value. So first of all, I need to find out how much water in this new situation, yeah, when, it, yeah, when there's more water inside, how much water is leaving the channel per minute. Okay, so I'm gonna do a similar thing that I've just done. However, it's gonna be slightly different. It is 1.2 times 0 0.8 times 15, okay? So the volume is 1.2 times 0 0.8 times 15, um, and that equals to, that's a 0 0.8, eh? that equals to, um, sorry, I got a peak now, 14.4, eh? put it in your calculator, that's per minute, so per hour, I'm gonna multiply by 60, so that uh, will equal to 864 meters cubed per hour, okay? But they're not asking me how much water leaves the channel per hour, they're asking me what is the percentage increase. And indeed, as you can see, there is a definite increase. Okay, so hopefully I can move this. Yes, I can, let me do it like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that technology, guys, fantastic. Percentage increase, that is the change, the change in value over the original value times 100%. Okay, what is the change in value? Well, it is 864 now, it used to be 64.8. Yeah, that's the change over the original value. What was it, well, what did it used to be? What is the original value? So it used to be 64.8, isn't it? So 64.8, and to make it a percentage, we times it by 100. Yeah, and then we put a percentage sign there, huh? so percent, yeah. Okay, well that difference is 799.2 over 64.8 times 100%. And if you work that out, I get 1,233 and a third percent, okay? And perhaps if you use decimals and then you have to round it to three significant figures, you could have 1,230%, yeah? Three significant figures, one, two, three, and then the next three, uh, or is that three stays of three because of that three and then you put the zero there to uh, which is the zero placeholder okay so the percentage increase or decrease that uh, change in value over the original value well to find the change in value I first had to find this number here 864 let me move this away now and go back so I first had to find that value yeah so I find um, yeah, the new amount of water that is leaving the channel. So I can find the difference. 864 minus 64.8 over the original value times 100%, okay? And then make sure that you either give it as a fraction or you round it correctly to three significant figures. Good, hopefully that was useful. We now go to part two, um, which is going to explain the questions C and D belonging to this question. And please check my site, explainingmaths.com for more free resources. Uh, and please like this video and share it with your friends if it was useful, okay? Because then I can help them too. I thank you for your attention and I'll see you later.